everyone, it's Debbie. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. If you're new here, I'm a reseller. I started reselling in July of 2004 and now I have this YouTube channel where I get to share what I've learned through the years and continue to learn. And today is the one year anniversary of when I put out my first YouTube video. So I thought I have to put out a video today. So I thought I would do just a quick casual ship with me video and show you everything that I'm sending out today. Just a typical Monday morning. This will not replace my what sold video. I will still have that in a few days. However, the what sold videos, I pull specific items that I feel like I can share something of value for each item and it doesn't show you everything. So I thought it might be good just to take you along as I package all the items and let you know everything that's sold, not just the hand-picked items. I will have the video where I pop up all of the numbers today. I just wrote them down on the back of each shipping label and I will still give you all of the numbers, but this is just going to be more of a casual ship with me. So let me know if you like this style of video and I can do this every once in a while. And I even thought one week I could just record every single morning as I ship my items so you can see everything that goes out for an entire week. And then still have my what sold video at the end where I handpick certain items to share more details with you. So just a thought, if you think that that would be something that you'd be interested in, let me know and I will be happy to do that. But today I have 10 items that are going out. So this was from Saturday after I shipped. So probably noon on Saturday until Monday morning. I saw 10 items for a gross amount of $436.34. I have sales on eBay and one is international. It's going to Mexico. I sell on Facebook Marketplace. I have a sale on Macari that is going UPS and I have a few sales on Poshmark. And if you're new here and would like to join me again, I would love to have you back. Just hit the subscribe button down below and if you hit the notification bell, it will let you know when I release new videos. I have a what sold video out every week and then usually some type of haul or educational tutorial video. And then if I find out that people might like this type of video also, I will throw those in there as well. So let's get started and I will show you what I'm chipping out this morning. Okay, so let's get started. First thing in the morning, I write a list of what I need to pull. I pull all of my items and- Okay, so I come to Becca 146 and I put on there where I source the items, Ross and Goodwill bins. And I also have the date in case my SKU number was off for some reason, if I had a typographical error. And it looks like everything is prepackaged, which is so nice when I have the items packaged. And there it is, right there, quick to find. Okay, now I'm going to the bucket to get two of the Free People Camilla Bandos, and they are right on top because I just updated my quantities and cross-listed them. And if you can see, when I have multiple quantities, so I have these in extra small and small, then here is a set of bras, and this one, they are all 32C in this bag. Okay. This one, I was lazy. I don't have everything packaged, so that can cause me to have to steam it. Okay, there is what I need. I have them each in separate bags. So here's the small, here's the mediums, just a few of those left, and just a few extra smalls. I have a lot of larges left. That's surprising, but I had a ton of them, so I'm gonna grab that one. I'm very thankful when I have items prepackaged. If there's anything that is not prepackaged, I go ahead and package them. I use these clear plastic protectant bags. Then I print my shipping labels, but I'm going, I'm going to package the unpackaged ones one at a time today so that I can show them to you when I'm shipping. We will start with my Poshmark cells first because those are pretty easy. I have several liquidation items that came prepackaged. Normally have a handful of these every day. So I just go through and I'm going to put a thank you sticker on each of them. Slow dance bra, I have, oh, actually this one's eBay. So I will put it aside. And then I have three of these Free People Camilla Bandos. And those were multiple quantity and they just slowly trickle out and you know it's just a few dollars profit each time but they were simple to list and it's great to be able to get that profit since this has a wire in it i'm going to put it in a padded flat rate envelope i order these from usps 
Amazon.com. Have them delivered to my door. This bra, I probably had about 40 or 50 of them, and they've been great sellers. But it does take it does take a little while for them to sell through. This one sold for a gross amount of $22. My earnings were $17.60. My cost of goods was $3.59 and my profit was $4.40. And I do use these shipping labels. I don't want to show you the buyer's address, so I'll take this off and then show you the other half. They come two per sheet of paper. And so I use one side and then I load it in the printer and use the other side. And on Poshmark, default size will extend past one label. So I change my printer settings to show 85% and then it fits perfectly on one side and then I can reuse the other side. And I have these linked down below. I purchased them either on Amazon or eBay and it takes forever if you have to use paper and cut them and tape them on. And the cost of tape, I think, is probably pretty equivalent to the cost of the shipping label. So this is a must have. I ran out a couple times and it is a nightmare <laughs> when I run out of those. Then I'm going to use these cute little poly bags for these three bandos because they don't have wires in them or anything. Or sometimes I'll use the padded flat rates. Actually, I only brought down two of these, so I will use one padded. So these are, I sold one large black Camilla bralette for $16, I received back $10.34. My cost of goods was $4.56, and my profit was $5.78. And normally what I do when I am packaging these, I have my phone and I look, it has the buyer's username on here. I will go ahead and I'm filming with my phone so I can't do it right now, but I will have it open and I will double check. Okay, this is the buyer's name, that's what it shows on my phone. This is the item, this is the size because it is not fun to mix up items. But if ever you do, just be honest, tell the person right away. And normally people are really nice and they know that there is human error. So that one's ready. And I will put a sticker on the outside also. Then the next one is the large black Camilla bandeau, another one. So I will put it in here and on. Put it inside. And next one is the another Camilla bandeau. It sold for a gross amount of $15. I received back $12. Cost of goods again $4.56. And my profit was $7.44. So not a lot, but small sales add up. Put a sticker on the outside. Put it in and it's ready to go. I don't mind that the smaller profits on some of the things that are super easy because they take very, very little time. The next one is, oh, this one just sold. I'll have to go get it. It is, so I'll pop it up. This was the Free People Wait For It mini dress. It sold for $25. I received back $20. My cost of goods was $11.76 and my profit was $8.24. Multiple quantities. Again, this one has taken a long time to sell, but it was in a lot with, I think I've shown before, the Aspen Free People jackets. They were these long, beautiful lambskin jackets. I paid around $220 for each of them and they sold between around $500 and six or 700, so they were great profit. Well, this was in one of those lots with it, and it is really pretty, multicolored. It has the sparkle on it, and look at the retail value, a $1,000 retail value, but it has not been a great seller. It just has not received the same activity as some of the other jackets, but that lot was great because I made great money on everything else. So finally, I had someone sending me an offer. I think she started with like $100. I countered back, she countered. We went back and forth. I even sent her a note telling her that I couldn't sell it for that low. Well, finally, finally she offered $245. So I looked at my cost of goods, which was $118. I realized I would get back $198. I thought, that's $78 profit on one item that probably took me 15 minutes total work time. 
I thought I will take that since it has not had a lot of activity. So I ended up selling it for $245. I received back $198. My cost of goods was $118 and I made a profit of $78 on one item. So I love being able to make $78 on one item. So I want to be sure and weather protect this and put it in a box to protect the fabric also. So I'm going to I have to change my camera a little bit. This is not the optimal workstation. I do not, <laughs> I do not advise shipping on your kitchen counter. However, this is the best lighting so that you can see it. So I am making do today, but it is very nice to have a dedicated place for shipping and not have to drag everything out. Okay. Looks nice. So I have it folded nicely. I could wrap it in craft paper, but I think since I'm putting it in a box, I definitely want to make sure it's very well protected. So let's see if one of these, I love these bags. Ah, that's too tight of a fit. So we will put it in this. And this is cute. I purchased these on Amazon and I will have them linked in the description below. Okay, and then I don't want it to go in just this because I worry about that fabric getting messed up. So I'm going to use a medium flat rate box that I had also delivered. The medium flat rate box and so I will just slip this inside, fits perfectly. I did not put a sticker on it. I will. So now, I think that looks nice. I will put a thank you sticker on the back right there. I will put it in this medium flat rate box so that it has a little extra protection since it is expensive. I'm going to close that and I will go ahead and reinforce this. I have not had an issue with them coming open, but when it's a little close, I might I take a little bit extra precautions. And so don't want to show the label. I'll put this on. I will put one that says, thank you for supporting my small business. And another one ready to go. Okay, next is a Macari cell. I sold these Nikes and these are a kid's shoes. I got them at the bins and they are Nike LeBron 16. And they sold for a gross amount of $29.84, they paid $22 plus $7.84 UPS sure post. That's actually a little bit less now than the FedEx. So I've been so I've been putting UPS sure post and it's a little closer also. Then the fees were $3.14. I received back $18.86. I paid just $1.39 at the Goodwill bins and my profit was $17.47. Since these are going UPS, I cannot use the priority packaging. So I'm going to recycle a box that we had just lying around. Tear this in half, put a little bit in the bottom. So they're not bouncing around in there. Put this on. So another one ready to go. And I will put a thank you for your supporting my small business on the outside. I'll just take this into UPS. They will scan it and give me a receipt and it's super easy. 
I was out running another errand and I was about to go to my normal UPS store and I see this place and I look it up and it shows that I can drop off packages. So I go to the customer center and there's a note on the door that says to go around to the east side of the building. So I walk around and I am looking for somewhere to drop this package off and I find a door on the east side but it says it's employees only. So I wander around, I try to look for some someone to talk to and I just circle around and around the building and finally I come to a spot where I see a little drop box and so I think well I'll just try to put it in there I won't get it scanned but I'm sure it will be fine and so I put my package in and it would not quite fit so <laughs> I kept walking around the building again and then a really nice lady came out and took my package and she said I could go in that side door that I thought was restricted and I dropped my package off and now I have a new place where I can drop off UPS packages. Okay, the next one is a Facebook Marketplace sale and I knew this one would sell fast. Torrid always sells so fast for me. It's a size one, two, and it is this pretty cardigan duster, split sides, just really nice. It sold for $20.14. My payout was $15. I paid $3.59 at my regular Goodwill, and I made a profit of $11.41, and it took just three days to sell. and I need to use plain packaging for this since it is going first class. I'll put a thank you sticker on it. It's going USPS first class mail. Stick it inside. And another one down. Okay, next I have just two more left. Next is an eBay international sale. I love it when I have an international sale. This is Love Stitch. And let's see, you can see the tag through there. And actually, I can just open it. I'll show you. This is Love Stitch. And this was from my Ross haul. And I paid $3.80 for it. It sold for a gross amount of $33.64. I paid $2.53 in fees. Uh, if you sell something international, they do not charge you fees on the shipping like they do on domestic sales. So you're only charged the percentage of fees on the price of the actual item. I received back $31.11. The postage was only $12, but it shows that they paid, they were charged $15.35. So I received back $19.11. My cost of goods was $3.80. So I made a profit of $15.31. And I looked back at my video to see how much I predicted. And I predicted that I would get back about $19.94. So I was off by 83 cents. So pretty close. I just, I'm going to use an eBay mailer on this one. So this came with my free shipping supplies. Just put that on. And I'm going to use one of my stickers on eBay because that is my eBay store name on Poshmark. Love to shop 242 was taken when I signed up. So I came up with Shop Girl. So I don't put this in my Shop Girl account. But when I have one that is my second Poshmark account, I just add a two on the end and put that on that account. The shirt in and another one ready to go and the last one is another eBay one this is the you want to bra me in black size large sticker on it and look how cute that is I love these mailers with those stickers and I got these stickers on Amazon and they were really inexpensive so I'm going to Hold this in half of it in here. This item sold for $17.72. I received back $11.83. My cost of goods was $4.56. And I made a profit of $7.27. So, 
And that is everything that I have to ship out today, this Monday morning. Okay, so now I will put my USPS packages out in the plastic, in my plastic container for my mail carrier to pick up. And someone had a really good question the other day if I did a carrier pickup every day or I just let them know because you don't really know what's going to come in overnight. So this is what I do. I do a carrier pickup for every single day but I schedule it like two or three months at a time so I don't have to log in and and create the request every single night. So I have that all taken care of. Then I talk to my carrier and I say, hey, I just kind of estimated how many packages I would have going out because I never really know because sales come in overnight. Is that okay? Every single carrier over the years have said, Yes, that's absolutely just fine. And so they know that that's not the exact number. I also have a note in my mailbox in case there is a substitute carrier because I have dealt with a lot of substitute carriers lately that miss my packages and it just reminds them to please pick up the packages and I tell them where they're at. That way, if they didn't see the slip of paper, they know to pull up in my driveway and pick up my packages. I need to take the one UPS package and drop it off and that's all my shipping for today. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this style of video and want me to occasionally do just a casual quick video of everything that I'm shipping out that day, give me a thumbs up so that I'll know that you enjoy this type of video or just let me know in the comments below if you would like me to do this type of video more often. Thank you so much for watching and I hope everybody has a great week and lots of sales. Bye! I had to show this cute little deer. I was sitting at my dining room table listing the other day and I look up and it's in my front yard. So I just thought that was sweet. <laughs>